Hey everybody and welcome back to Crypt Monkey Paints on our normal night at our normal time and our lovely beautiful yard because the weather is amazing and we have the windows open so uh we will take a break to shut them if anything starts like going crazy and getting really loud but really not a thing here so I mean we do just... have weather coming I don't know when we yeah we it definitely got a little gloomy but that's okay it's still kind of cool hi tech priest so hi tech so we promised you guys we were going to do a resin test and guess what we have we have prints ready ton of a bitch hi gareth hello gareth <laughs> we have prints ready for testing so i have here in front of me a bunch of little boobies hello regina <laughs> yes i love the windows open so we have here a whole bunch of different prints from the different resins um so this is ooh not in focus. There we go. It's on auto right now. I know. So this is what is that? That looks like a little kitty. What is that? Can you tell what that is? Love sign. Aww. And hello, Bali Tempest. Mm -hmm. So this is the very first resin that I was using. So this was very fragile, and I'm I'm going to show you. These are all spare parts, you know that sort of thing. Um, I'm going to show you. I can kind of move his tail, but it is tight. Um, but he will be dropped. Everything is going to be dropped. This is the new one of the new resins. Focus, baby, focus. All right. It's yeah, just gonna, not going to do it. Let me work on it. Okay. Ty's going to work on it. I do want to show the quality of the prints before i drop them because i don't know how they're gonna survive after so we'll see um so i do want to give a little caveat i this was a first print of this model so there is obviously a flat spot on his head i am covering a hole on his body and this wing did not print properly i do not company that is not the resin's fault at all that is a hundred percent my fault i did not have it positioned well or supported well so the failures on this visually are my fault not the resin so make that clear but you can see those feathers look really good um also this is a little bit crazy and it doesn't even feel it doesn't feel like oh shit oh. nice one golden it it doesn't feel like this one. I'm kind of like holding my breath when I do that because I feel like I'm going to snap it and it's going to just go everywhere. This one, I'm not worried about that at all. Yeah, as soon as you handed that to me earlier and I was pulling those wings down. That like that doesn't feel like resin. Barely resilient. Crazy. So that's one of the re the new resins. Hello, Sawdust. This is the other new resin. And again... Oh, of course you did it there. Okay, that one did break off. You, you you torqued on that pretty hard. I did torque on that pretty hard. You're not supposed to do that with minis. Um, no, <laughs> no. You're not supposed to do but that. But we're testing. But we're testing, yes. So, but you can see... Yes, we are talking about the new resin, yes. Ghosty. These are the new resins. Um, uh, Gareth says it looks like bones material. That That's what we were saying earlier, that it, it felt it more like... It feels like, like that, yeah. Like a... a, a what is it? Uh, injected, molded part, almost, yeah. almost. So, I mean, here you can see all the little details in between his little frills. Back here, you can see the grooves in the frills. You can see all the individual feathers. You've got all the scales. So there was no loss of detail at all on this. Um, and then this is, like I said, this is the resin we currently use, which... You know, all of his little things up there. You just ran your fingers over those a little bit. Yeah, I do, because... Well, they, and they're bouncing back well. They do. These particular parts do move pretty well. Um, it's it's definitely it's this, yeah. more rigid. It, it's more like this one. Like, this. these wings are, are crazy. That's just... I mean, that's a failed wing, so that's going to do that. But this is this is just crazy to me. So, all right, we have... Is that a grilled lizard dinosaur, Regina asked? 
Hello, Lishigu. Yes. Yes, it is. Is that not awesome? So even this, like... Thrilled. I didn't can... even think of... <laughs> I mean, it's... It's the one that killed Nedry, Gareth says. Did you break it? I did. I broke the tail. Okay. I mean, well, that's I mean, what we're if doing. We're gonna, testing. Yeah, we're you're testing, putting it under right? that much stress. So I did I break tell the you tail. that the other ones would break. The, the stuff we yeah. normally use. This would have this would have broken as well if I did that. Mm -hmm. But okay, guys. Well, I'd say sooner. Yeah. You guys, you guys ready? We're gonna drop them. We're gonna drop them right here, right okay, now. And you want me over there, correct? Yes. So I am going. Okay. Avert your eyes, guys, because we're going for a ride with the camera here. Sorry. <laughs> We're literally going to put you down here on the ground. And you see that blue spot? Oh, Ty, you need to turn the, oh, the, uh, the focus awesome. back on. It, that blue spot's where I'm aiming. <laughs> All right. Okay, and we have a, a sweeper ready right behind Ty as well. All right, so first thing is going to be the old resin that I am no longer using, but just for comparison. Yeah, that just bounced. That was actually that wasn't bad. Because you're, you're not dropping. No, I'm not. Two. I'm I'm dropping it from if I knocked it off the table because that seems more realistic for me for what we're using these guys for. So okay, this is our current resin, and one of the the key things with the current resin versus the original resin I was using. One, this has better quality. It's um, it definitely has way higher print detail than the other one does it's also <laughs> ties doing a jig it's also <laughs> a lot less um smelly like this i almost can't smell at all and the old one was like all right so i'm literally just putting my arm straight out i went once back about almost halfway yeah so again i mean it's not breaking all right so now we are going to do so, and I do have all of these resins over. This one is the Hero Resin. What the the name of that particular bottle is. The one that's like really bendy. It's crazy. Wow. Okay. Pick, pick that one up and literally drop it from five feet. I, okay. I have to know. Like, no, go up high. Like five, let's, high's five eight. So put it up to your top of your head and then drop. Okay. Ready? I gotta know. Hope you're ready. I just dropped it. What the hell? It, it doesn't even bounce as much as the other one, but, oh, because it's absorbing it all. That's why Holy it's bendy. Shit, that's crazy. Let, let me see it again. I'm going to drop it again. I'm going to drop it from as high as I can. High as you can reach. Which isn't real. <laughs> Nothing. Okay, pick up our real res, our normal resin, and drop it from that uh, high. This one, right? Yes, that one. That's crazy. What the hell? Okay, that one didn't even break. I was holding my breath. Okay. This one? Yeah. None of these are breaking. And they break in shipping. How is this happening? Okay, oh, that, that one broke. broke. That yeah. one broke. Okay. So now this is their other resin. This is the um the hard resin is what this one is called. And oh I'm not I'm dropping this one. Okay, so this is the hard resin, which is the one that I would like to switch to. Hear something? I thought I heard something. Let me see him. Because I knew I broke the tail. How many times you could drop him before you check him? <laughs> that was a real drop. I literally dropped it for real from about the same height. But the end of that tail, is that it? Or is that what you did? That's earlier? what I broke earlier. Oh, I see a, a feather... Right there broke off. I lost a feather. Okay, so drop him from full height. All right. This one feels like the kind of any that's gonna up here now. Mm -hmm. Nothing. I didn't hear anything crack no. or anything. No, it's still just that feather missing. Okay. All right, so you watch out because I'm just gonna. Oh, uh... I threw it at the door. <laughs> I mean, fuck it, right? I'm like, I'm trying to break a damn mini right now. I wasn't that. And nothing is breaking. I can break it. Step on. I literally just threw it at the door, and the only thing that broke, and I don't know how far from me the door is. Oh, it's seven. 
Okay, so I just threw this dinosaur at the door about seven to eight feet away from me. And the only thing that is broken is the tail or the, the foot that when I was cleaning off supports, I literally snipped it off Why this was a reject. And then the tail that I snapped when I was fiddling with it with my hand. Okay. All right. So I think testing is done there. I look. They look really good. Okay. Everybody avert your eyes again. Back for a ride. Ah! Okay. We're back to normal now. I have to get this cord out of the way. All right. So now we're going to read some questions and stuff about all the stuff we just did. Okay. I'm going to have to get you. Yes. Close action. All right. Let's see. Ouch. <laughs> Let me drop it from an airplane. <laughs> I don't think so. We'll never find it. <laughs> Um, okay, so this guy, and I'm trying to be careful because I had a drip, is printed in this hero resin. So this stuff is just like, this is crazy to me. This, this one is like, it almost, it's more like a Reaper miniature, like a plastic molded miniature than anything I have ever printed in my life. This is crazy. Okay. Oh. You He's know, cute, what, but I'm going to break it. I'm going, okay? I'm going to go what, until it breaks. What we have to test sometime, though, is the uh, the boil trick. Okay, there it goes. That took a lot. That took a lot of pressure to that break that That was a lot. So, so do, do you want to try the boil on that wing? Or you want to print something else with it, maybe, and try no, the, I'll, the boil I'll, on it? I'll put this off to the side, and I'll test that with Because now I'm curious if, like, with the Reapers, if you can bend things to maybe you want to change the yeah. the pose a little bit or something like that i don't know so I know the other resin you really can't do that right this is the other thing that i want to add to this resin because i like this resin i like the color a little bit better um but these are all these are both the same company what this is is it literally makes it, um, it increases durability. So basically, it 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 makes it more, more more, more plasticky. Yeah, it makes it more flexible. Which I misunderstood earlier. I yes. thought it made it more rigid. Right, which makes it more like just brittle, harder. But yeah, that yeah. would make it more uh, so liable to crack. With this, you can literally add it to any resin. So what I'm thinking I want to do is a combination of. You could actually just print in this and make it full on flexible, but this is pretty expensive. So that's, that's not a thing. Yeah. Um, that, that, that would be expensive. This is what we're currently using the Cyrotech. So I've, I've been happy with this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's good resin. It's, it's good resin. I, I recommend it. Um, it's, it's done a really good job for us. I've been really happy with it, but we were approached by this other company and asking asked us to test it out and see how we liked it and see what we thought of their resin and i'm i'm pretty freaking impressed i honestly i'm really impressed with all of these droppings i'm like i and i've dropped a gazillion miniatures so i mean i've dropped i've broken a lot um but the quality to me and it could just be me but to me this one looks a little bit better than this resin but damn that is crazy flexible um so what i think i'm I, I think what we're planning on doing is we're going to start using this resin which also has another benefit so like i said this is what we normally buy ty if you want to switch over to me for a minute um this is what we normally buy okay and it comes in these bottles, which I buy a lot of the, I go through a lot of these. So there's a lot of bottles that I'm, I'm not exactly proud to say. I'm, it, it, we we want to recycle is. where we can. That's right, really but I can't down. recycle those. This is the new stuff. I literally get to ship this back to the company and they will take care of it. They will recycle. And this is actually really kind of convenient to pour and hold on to. So there's another little benefit right there. Is the top of that bag opening the same as the bottles? And the reason I'm asking is because we have uh, machines coming that have the... Auto feeders. Yeah. So no, that is not the case. But I have already thought of a solution of simply emptying this bag into 
one bottle that lives oh, behind the machine. Yeah, that's a good idea. So I'll simply refill that bottle rather than refilling the vat. I like so, it. That solves that issue. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy. I'm very happy, actually, with these. Um, so Ghosty asks, is the detail the same level for this flexible one? With, if you want to go back to these cams. So this super flexible one, I would have to pay, and I, I did bring up more so that I could actually put paint on them to, to tell for sure. This one, it's hard to answer whether or not this is as detailed. I feel like this, the quality of this one is crazy good. With me adding that additive, the flexible additive into it, does not change the quality of the print detail. It simply makes it to where this one is going to bend like a reaper does you know when i bend it nothing happens i don't know if it'll make it that flexible but that's my hope i mean better than yeah better than what i've got now so right. um let's see let's go through oh, all uh, of the other questions so uh, sawdust suggests we get harder floors I, I think i think he's suggesting we're faking the tests i that's it's crazy to me like, well, i guess we gotta get harder doors too since you threw it at the door i mean it's a tile floor it should without warning me i'll add i did say i said move i'm gonna throw it at the door you said move and then you threw it at the door i said it as i was throwing <laughs> somebody rewind and check i said i was gonna throw it at the door <laughs> Ghosty says, now I'm curious how these distributors are breaking these things. They must be trying. I, yeah, put it this way. We don't put fragile handle with care on our packages anymore because of the things we've heard, the YouTube videos yeah. I've seen. We don't do that anymore. Even like Michael uh, Mordor ships me minis painted every month or every four months I get them shipped here. The box is destroyed. Yeah, every single time. Every it, single he time. He has fragile on there, which it, I think ends up with the opposite effect I, I i think people are like oh let's see how fragile this is i don't know but okay next question let me drop it from the airplane the new <sighs> one seems so cool yeah i'm i'm really excited about this new resin so there's also a proximity to where we work this place is much the closer other, that's the other really actually to me a huge benefit so when i order this resin I order 12 bottles of that at a time. When I have, I, and I make sure that I have 12 here, you know, and I've, I've, then I've got 12 that I'm going through. So I've got my first batch I'm going through. When I finish my first batch, I order another batch. So I always have at least 12 bottles. I still occasionally run out before it gets here. Sometimes we have to order from Amazon to get it here. Okay, resin. Yeah, uh, no, it's not okay. It's I mean, it's a good one, but it's more expensive, right? The one from Amazon. No, it's the exact same resin, oh. but it's more expensive on Amazon than buying directly through them. Oh, see, that's all it is. <laughs> um, but no, it's it's one of those things where the shipping they and they ship it out like I order it, they ship it within a day or two, but it can still sometimes gets here in three days, sometimes gets here in three weeks. There's no consistency whatsoever. This new resin company. If I'm desperate, I could drive five and a half hours and pick it up from them. They're that close. Yeah. They manufacture it there and they ship it from there. They're, so, they're one state away from us. They're literally in Illinois. So that's and Do you think we wouldn't do a five and a half hour trip to, if we're in a, a bad position, we're going to do it. <laughs> yeah, I absolutely would. I'm like, no, nah, it's going to get here faster. If I just come pick it up, I'm coming to get it. I have a warning for you. Someone has altered the stream. Now what? So, oh, for those of you who didn't catch what I said in Discord, um, I kind of screwed up today, and I forgot about alter the stream. So I just said basically go to go look at the Etsy store, pick anything you want, and I'll do it. Um, the <laughs> I would also like to see that if you do that. The Spinosaurus, I will size him down so that I have a solid one print. Okay, because I can fit him in a size down to do him in one, so I don't have to assemble or anything like that, and that makes it easier. Uh, but yes, I actually would love to paint that anyway, so that's cool. Good choice. Okay. Um, what's the next thing? Uh, Soda says that is that really is very cool. I have never done resin printing. My additive printer does a real good job 
with PLA and ABS, and it's great for parts, which is what I use it for. But resin absolutely is the way to go. For it really is. The detail-wise, just the amount of cleanup I have and the way cleanup works versus PLA, um, no. I'm not doing the cleanup on PLA for something like this. It's it's just not going to happen. You have no idea how close I was to saying Brachiosaurus, even though that's so unrealistic, Ghosty said. I, I would, again, I would print that in one piece and and paint it, and it would be like the mod the guy himself is ridiculously well, uh, tiny. And, and maybe... I do want to print it out and paint it myself. Maybe next anyway, month we can do... A single piece that's larger than what you're imagining right now? Um, not potentially not. So oh. I, I know we've been talking about all of the the new printer that I'm getting that is, you know, bigger than what I've got now, like twice the size, all these wonderful things. But we also have new news on that. There's an update. Apparently, I don't know this news. No, because I just got an update yesterday. Uh, basically, it is due to ship in April should be here easily by the beginning of June. Yeah. Oh, well, what about the one we, other one we ordered? That'll that be one here still sooner. hasn't shipped. It should be here next month. Yes. Which we haven't even talked about. No, we haven't talked about that. We, that should be here when? I'm sorry. Um, it, it's, it hasn't shipped. It says anywhere between 20 and 30 days after purchase. So maybe within a month we will have a different brand of a huge printer yeah, coming. That'll be the first time I have an any cubic printer. So my glasses are filthy. Uh, so Regina says I have to check out for an Archon planning meeting, but I'll come back later. All right, yeah. Have fun. Have fun. Have a good meeting. Tell everybody hi. Yeah, say hi for us. I have to fill up my paperwork. Um, oh my god, I still got to get that done. That's usually okay. I usually do it at the, the. I know, but I'm like really, really bad. I need to get that filled out. Ghosty says, "Oh, Ty looks so sad after you said no." Yeah. No, the Spinosaurus actually prints out really, really well. Even the large size, um, he is. He's not in that many different sections. Gina's yelling, "Dawn!" I'm not sure what for. And Tech I Priest know, is asking Photon. Photon is not what we have ordered no, from No, I'm getting an AnyCubic. Uh, I've completely lost Something name. Max 2. I, I want to say yeah. Cobra, and that's not right. No. Um, I'll, I'll find it real quick. Regina is yelling at me because I haven't filled out my paperwork to get oh, a move. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. I love it's, you. We, we're like usually done like that last I day, I usually right? do them the day of. Oh. So. Um... Do you... Oh, maybe that is... Let me see. Is no, it the... I don't think so. It doesn't sound right. Photon M3 Max. That's oh, it the, is? That's okay. the 7K monitor, is, yeah. Yes. So that should be bigger stuff and presumably higher detail. It, yeah, because it's 7K versus the 6K we have now. So, um, yes. All right. Yeah, I, I was looking at the Cobra, too, with Shigo. That's why it sprung from my lips. But it's not the Cobra Max. Photon in. So for tonight, guys, we are painting a Reaper miniature, which is crazy because I haven't painted a Reaper in forever. So we started working on the base on Sunday because there's a lot of detail in this guy. But... This is from Bones Fort. It's not available for sale on their site. I don't know if it will be or not, but it is a super awesome miniature. I'm betting and after this long, it may probably just not, won't unless be. someday they come back and revisit a bunch of ones that they haven't uh, produced. Yeah. After a Kickstarter. No, but they are running their Bones Six right now. Mm -hmm. That's how far behind I am on painting my Reapers. Mm -hmm. So we're painting our Reapers. We're not the only ones. We talk to no. people all over the country all the time that are doing exactly the same thing yes. as us. Storing them away and as they have time. <laughs> so, this was picked from the um, doo -doo -doo, Ultra the Stream. And it was also picked that he was painted in teal. Yeah, that, that part was Gareth. I remember that. Yes. Uh, thinking, picking up the Spino, one of my favorites from Lord of the Print. It is a really, really awesome one. Um, I will, I actually have one printed out right now. 
not in a solid piece because it's the one that's just too big just bigger not big enough that i can't print it in one so i'll post pictures in discord of of it later on um probably tomorrow because honestly i will forget tonight so i gave myself a base coat on this guy and i then i also picked up some more teal colors because i didn't really have a whole lot of teals so I started off with a with a green with a little bit of brown hint um, on the edges so that it kind of goes from the brown and or the green into the, the fleshy kind of color a little bit. And then I went really super dark brown on his shell and gold just so I could do the he's shiny. <laughs> um, but ah, oh, God damn it. I saw it pop up and I was just trying to figure out what it was when it. And by the way, Cora got me a whole bunch of peeps that are individually wrapped. So now I can eat rubber duckies. Ghosty says, yeah, I love to see it. <laughs> this wave's detail is still so stunning. Yeah. Um, let's see if I could tell Ty where it is to go get it. To uh, get a link for it, you mean? No, the Spino. So you could just bring it up and I could show them right now. Is it an Etsy? The printed one, sweetie. There's one printed out downstairs. <laughs> yeah, let's see if you can tell me where it's at. Uh, oh, you know what? Actually, I have to step away anyway because I have no water or anything else. So I'll tell you what. <laughs> Tyler, why don't you go over the social media stuff and the, you know, like all the shop stuff and all that stuff that we're supposed to promote ourselves so promote ourselves. It's hard to remember things. And you can talk a little bit about uh, what we're going to be doing tomorrow so people can prep for that too. Oh, that's, uh, that's a good point. So I'm going to grab my water and I'm going to grab the spinal and I'll be right back. Well, the, the first thing I'm going to share is that if you just go to our site, which uh, our main site is cryptmonkeygames.com. At the very bottom of the page, that pretty much brings you out to everywhere. Uh, you know, the one thing I don't know, I don't think we actually have any links to CritMonkey.net yet. So, uh, oh, CritMonkey.net uh, is where pretty soon, those of you that like to get involved in crowdforging, you're going to want to go there because that's where we're going to be placing... Uh, all of the the crowd forging stuff for um so those two places are important but certainly you can get out to our etsy shop from cryptmonkeygames.com you can get out to our shopify just by clicking shop on the top of that our shopify we're still working on updating it doesn't have all of the models yet uh, but we're getting them out there and we'll probably do something big fun sale or something like that once we uh, once we get them all out and caught up on Shopify. Um, ah, Nightbot's helping out. Yes, you can join Discord as well. Uh, <laughs> so uh, that's that's kind of where you can kind of branch out to our Twitter and our Facebook and all of those places if you want to follow us in those areas. Um, our YouTube as well, which you know, is sorely lacking at the moment because I have so many things that I'm still not catching up on. Not only for our Crypt Monkey stuff, but also for Gamers in the Unknown for me and Jake. I need update stuff out there. Uh, so I think that's... So, so our Crypt Monkey YouTube is where I'm going to be doing the... We're going to be sharing the uh, letters from Dr. Hackrip, which is coming up in the next couple of months anyway. Some shorts. And that's to promote both Crypt Monkey stuff and Gamers in the Unknown. But that's where you'll be able to catch that. So. That this is beautiful. Is the base for the spino. And this one is the four, five, six, seven, eight inches. Yeah, this is eight inches by four inches. I love this. Like, I can't get over the, the teeth. So that's the base. Anyway, you can keep talking while I'm just kind of showing off the spinos. I'm pretty sure I puked up all the stuff on them. 
Okay, cool. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, the, the main thing is CryptMonkey. CryptMonkeyGames.com will get you to all of the normal links, and then that CryptMonkey.net will get you on the... It's, I mean, it's our networking site. That's where we're going to community. Uh, the playing stuff and sharing about our up, other upcoming games. And more, more story drip. Yeah. So... Ghosty says, that is a beautiful base. I've never actually noticed the dead sawfish thing. So, like, this is, like, rhino skin. I love it. It's so detailed. And then... Just about got me. There's the tongue. Really good. That one. And look, you can see even the... The that thing is, like, all stretched out. I love that. Not sure why he's got a knot on his head, but he does. But it's cool. Little spikes again. It's a frill, I think, right? Yeah, it's so tiny. It's weird. And then, so I can't hold all the pieces and and kind of show off the assembly at the same time. That goes there, and that wraps around like that. Huge. So, I just packed one of those today, didn't I? Smaller uh, one. Yesterday. Yesterday. Uh, so you can see that it's not a whole lot of assembly on this one. Not anything like the, um, I left his leg downstairs, his other leg. Uh, it's nothing like the Brachio, uh, yeah, the Brachiosaurus. The only thing that it's, well, I mean, it, it makes perfect sense, but it's like so funny of like, look how tiny his arms are. Itty bitty little baby arms. So I love... Like, it's, the skin is so textured. Yeah, Soda says it's pebbly skin. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. So, that's the, that's the new Spinosaurus. No holding that critter by the tail. And a little treat for Sawdust Dragon. We were talking about this earlier. That is actual sawdust on your base for your Sawdust Dragon. Nice. Ghosty says, can't get over how cool the head is. Definitely convinced yeah. me. I'm going to need to pick him up soon. Yeah, he is He is awesome. That is a fun one. Okay, so now we are going to pay what we're actually here to I wanna, do. I want to announce the other show. Are you going to let me do that yet? I mean, we still no. got to work on it. No, I can't no. announce it yet. Still, no. We're going to do another show eventually. Yes, we have plans. It's in the works. Let's see, where do I want to start? I'm going to start under here. <laughs> yes, I was, I was extremely happy with the way the base turned out, but I hated the way the dragon turned out. I had to start. It was stupid. You know what I didn't talk about earlier? I'm looking at the shell, and I just realized that I talked about where to go find us in places, but I didn't talk about what we're going to talk about tomorrow. So that people can oh, think about. So if I could just briefly do absolutely that. do that, so you guys can kind of plan ahead. Um, so on Sunday, Easter, everybody was pretty busy, but we had a couple of folks around. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you for the one hundred bits and their corgis. For the corgis, bouncy head corgis. <laughs> so uh, one of the things that Dawn crafted, Erie, or well, Proud Forged. Yeah. So pick a word, any word. Dawn forged, um, well, no, you forged the turtle. I did this. Ugh, I'm all over the place. Okay, so one of the things long ago at this point, probably a month ago, Dawn came up with the giant turtle, and we've all added to that a little bit here, and the giant turtle being the one that, like, merchants small woodland or uh, small uh, bamboo forest up there, one. those sorts of things. It was good. Ghosty's got notes in there too. Yeah. I just, but I thought I, he I, came on, came up with it and I was adding on. I think we were talking about uh, the never ending story and said we should do that. Or in any case, no, I've got my notes are correct. Okay. Just... Um, <laughs> I'm giving Ghosty a chance to step up and say, oh, no, 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 that was mine. No, I have notes from Ghosty and a couple of other people in there too. Anyway. Okay. 
So uh, well, one of the things with the giant turtle is that for mobility, the, the way that these traveling merchants are allowed, are able to travel around uh, about twice the walking speed came up with, about twice the walking, walking speed of a team of dog oxen pulling a land, land ship um, is they, they hover somehow. They, they hover and they kind of swim through the grasslands a foot or two off of the ground. They're just barely skimming above the ground, considering the size of these creatures. But yeah. what we, uh, what I came up with and then talked about on Sunday was that you know th these guys they they live a long time, so it's not easy to find this, but you can potentially find the remains of these giant turtles. And uh, what one group of people have found is that they were able to uh, this they discovered that. The ability for the turtle to float is actually in the shell. So by using some crystals or something like that, touching it to uh, where muscle tissue had originally connected to the bottom of the shell, they are able to make that shell base float. So they built a, a, a village on there. We're calling it Kelvin. So this is what we're going to talk about tomorrow is I'm going to start with careers of a small village that lives on the shell and travels around. Uh, there's certainly going to be a, a merchant thing to this. That's predominantly what they're doing. They're traveling, trading goods, right? Right. Um, but so we're going to talk about the different careers that that would have, and then we'll branch out from there. Maybe what are some ideas that we have uh, for people that live in the six cities that surround the plateau, the farm. So that subject could easily go pretty big, and it's probably too big for for one sitting, but we'll come back to it. The ghosty says, uh, also, I was meaning to ask you, do you think you're going to add the rest of the first dinosaur wave, like the human villagers and the Cynoceratops? Um, we actually, there, I say we, um, there's a few different people that have been asking Lord of the Print to put that package together, uh, because it's, it kind of sucks because I literally joined his tribes the month after the first dino release. So all of those parts were mostly available, but not all. Um, so we've been asking him to put together a package of, you know, Dino One. And he just did it. So that happened this weekend. He got that posted, I think. So I need to purchase the rest of them. Uh, the rest of the group, or I'm just going to purchase the group because I think... <laughs> oh, shit! All those are getting me so bad this t today. That one didn't get me. Uh -huh. um, I'm going to gloat and then get stuck really hard. I'm pretty sure if I just buy the package, I'm going to basically repurchase a couple that I already own, but it's still going to be cheaper than buying them all individually. So that is my plan, yes, is to offer Dino One as well. Ghosty says you definitely came up with it. Okay. Thank you, Ghosty. Okay, backing, Ghosty. Backing me up here. I could have sworn you had, but... Uh, Gareth says sounds neat. So my intention is to offer all of Dino 1 and Dino 2, as well as the um, bundle. But then I want to make a giant bundle of, you know, both of them, both of them together. All right, well, I'm going to start working. Thank you for the bits. Yeah, I'm not sure who it was. Sawdust. Sawdust. Thank you for the 50 bits. They're all staying in the cup. Oh, it's a good night. All staying. Not one of them has come out. <laughs> oh, that is perfect. Okay, now <laughs> I'm going to set that over there and let it dry. There it says, I'll wait for Dino 4, the reckoning. <laughs> um... I was actually just before the stream, I was watching Sawdust flying. 
and uh, on Discord. And the I was working on adding new listings while I was doing that. And uh, one of the funny things was like I started. I, I'm going through my paints real quick. Hold on. I apparently cannot talk and, and look at color. Would you like some gum? You might fall yeah. out of your seat. Right. <laughs> I was looking through and I was adding more from um, Epic Miniatures and it was just, it was so funny because I'm like, how have I not printed these for myself yet? It was like this mad scientist guy and um, a Frankenstein's monster and uh, like six different um versions of a uh a specter i think is what it's called is what they what he called them but i mean it's it's just like it, it's, it's a really cool set and i'm like how have i not printed these yet how did i not realize how cool these were what happens time to start the extremely tedious act yes yes gap filling can be extremely <laughs> tedious <laughs> Um, it is definitely one of those things that I like to do when I have um, something fun to listen to, either that I'm I'm tapping my feet along with, singing along with, or just um, something else to focus my brain in on. Kara says it's pronounced Frankenstein. Frankenstein. <laughs> There's zombies in that set, too. Like, really good ones, too. Okay. So. There's all my blues. Teals. <laughs> Funny. Um, and I want to work both arms at the same time. Like, here's the back legs. I'm going to work on both back legs at the same time so that I have the same kind of down. I think I'm gonna work on them down. Is that in focus? Yep. Okay. So anyway. I'm not sure I want to use that brush though. It's a really nice little detail brush, but for this I think I want a square. Sawdust says uh walk this way. Although I read it as wow why <clears throat> uh garris says what the hump <laughs> ghosty says i've been procrastinating this so i could do it while y'all stream i love getting big minis but i hate the process of building big mini yeah that's it, that's what i was saying the other day was is like i'm always in this that brush either i'm having trouble picking a brush um i always am struggling with printing so because there's a lot of them that i can't actually print in one piece but then it is either really hard to print to paint that way or it's likely to get broken in shipping that way you know it's like i have to every single mini that i'm, I'm getting ready to print i have to sit there and, and figure out is this the safest way to send this is this the best way to do this or is it going to break? Is it going to be a pain in the ass to paint? And and all those other things. It's like. It's. The struggle is real. It sounds so stupid. But it is. Goddess asks. Whose brain is was this? Um Abby somebody? Not mine. I think we're going to stay on that. I think this is all. Young Frankenstein, I think is what it was called. Uh, Garrus says, stay close to the candles. The stairs can be treacherous. This has got to be all young Frankenstein stuff. I'm not remembering all of it, but getting the... It's been a while. It was a good one. Oh, yeah, Garrus. Oh, they've got a. I'm just painting tiny little scales. 
Super, super interesting, right? Gareth, what do you think of the color? Feel enough for you? I mean, this is actually the ocean blue. This isn't green, green blue enough for you. Do you have teal that I'll work my way down to? Kind of my intention is to start with the darker blues. But it says me likes teal. And as I'm going, like, I'll get lighter and lighter going down. Garrus says, love it, go tealer. <laughs> anyway. So, yeah, I think we're officially making the switch over to the new resin. Uh, I do have about 12 bottles left of the Cyrotech. And I'm probably mispronouncing that, and I do apologize if I am. Um, got about 12 bottles of that left, and we will be completely switching over. Um, Ghosty says, speaking of breaking, I really need to say I appreciate all the extra pieces from my recent order. With the amount of small pieces, I really, really appreciate you including extras above and beyond. I, well, you know, it, that actually comes from being a painter myself. I understand what pieces are likely to get lost, likely to just get set down and walk away. And then you're like, where the hell? Um, and then also... You were the first person I was printing that for. So in those cases, I am also unsure of what parts I'm going to break while I'm cleaning. So typically, and, and after I've printed a piece and, and cleaned it once, I usually remember, okay, you know, that's going to be fragile. So I need to print too. I do have a few models that, um, that I always print two to three of them because I'm I'm very, very likely to snap a leg or something like those uh, little cats. I am very likely to snap a leg while I'm cleaning. So if I print them and they all survive, no reason not to just ship them over to you. Lotus so says, on the base, you could put a teal eel. Sorry, I'm in that frame of mind. And Gareth agreed. Teal, teal everywhere. Greener, bluer. This is only the first color. Okay. Added the green. Ah. Uh. It does look like we've got storm clouds coming. Mm hmm Yeah, I was surprised. I was expecting it to happen while we were dead or something. Here it goes. The clouds, anyway. I also don't think it's going to be that violent. Yeah. It's too cold out. Cool out. Uh, Ghosty says, with the amount of spears in my order, I'm really shocked nothing broke. I actually did lose one of the small arms, but I had an extra. Yeah, those were what I was really afraid of losing. Would have expected this to be slightly slower. Oh, uh, what's that? The uh, scales you're doing? Yeah, but knocking through them fairly quickly. I mean, it's only one side, and I have four limbs. <laughs> Saw this is so nice. I I like flying in the storms. Um, so when we've talked about moving, that's actually a consideration. That we have is being able to have a a west facing window, large window, so that we can watch the storms come in. Oh. Also, one of my favorite things to paint. Not flying in them. <laughs> we like to watch them. A 
wrapped up. In. I'm getting wrapped up in what I'm doing and I'm forgetting that I'm supposed to be like talking or something. Uh, our large window is south facing, but we still get to see the storms go by. Yeah. That's sawdust, though. You're watching the Gulf. Yeah, we're getting all picky about it, too, because... Because we're, uh... Not doing it again. Moving. Oh. You said we're getting picky about it. We're getting picky because we're not going to move again. Isn't that what you were going to say? No, I was about to get mad at you. <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm so we're moving confused. again. No, no, we're no. We're getting picky because we see places that are on <laughs> uh, a flat, because it's on the, uh, it's, it's where the plains start out west, and Ozarks have ended, so there's large flat areas. And we're like, no, we want to find one of those spots where there's more of a hill that we're sitting on top of and look out over the flat. No, <laughs> Storms babe. coming. What I meant was we're getting really picky about this place that we're looking for because yeah. we're not moving after that. That's where. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. what I meant. Yeah, you know. Oh, we'll see. Oh, my brushes. Uh, Shigo says, with your experience with printing, I have a question. Sure, I love it. I currently have a Creality printer that the VAT leaks all the time. I'm looking at getting something different. What would you suggest as a good mini-level printer for minis and other projects? Um, okay, so I have to read that myself. Hold on. So They, they have a Creality. Right, a good mid-level printer. Okay, um, so the VAT itself is leaking. Have you... That seems like, do you have to, I mean, I don't have that brand. Um, like ours, we can buy a new VAT for one. Yeah, I can buy a brand new VAT that. and and fix that issue. So that would be my first suggestion is look and see if you can replace your VAT rather than replacing your whole printer, which is much more expensive. That being said, Elegoo, 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 Elegoo. I freaking love my Elegoos. They are legitimately, open the box, Put it together in 15, 20 minutes and pour resin and start printing. It's just that quick and it's freaking amazing. And no, they're not sponsoring me in any kind of way. Elegoo, feel free to contact yeah. me because I love you guys. You you want. <laughs> they really are amazing. Um, that is actually the only brand I have is Elegoo. So that's what I recommend. I, I bought a, an AnyCubic for the first time ever. Um, their price is really reasonable. Their build volume is really awesome. So I'm going to try them out. Uh, but it says, Ty, the way you mouth words instead of speaking them, I start to think your mic is not working. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love you. I'm going to make fun of him. <laughs> he will be sitting there reading something on his phone. And I'm like, you know, you're moving your mouth, right? I love you, sweetie, but you do. You move your mouth when you read. Yes. That makes me sound like a bad reader. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. It's not when I'm... I don't think it's so much when I'm reading something on the phone, like a report or an article. I'm bad about it when I'm reading stories. Oh yeah, you are. When you're reading a book, you are. That's when he actually even kind of whispers when he reads. I intentionally slow down my book because I want it to be like a movie. I know my mom. I can read super fast, and my mom would read very fast. But I intentionally slow down on my stories. That makes it sound like I read soap operas, but on my novels, I slow down because I want it to be like conversational speed i don't know the more it's action that's happening in the book the faster i read yeah me too yeah i do that but but as soon as it's back to like dialogue and stuff i slow back down but that's also why i uh i will read uh reread books constantly okay anyway there says it's okay i mumble to myself when i'm trying to figure stuff out i will uh now that i speak openly out loud and i'm surprised when other people don't hear me 
Mm-hmm. And I'm just talking to myself, like, okay, I'm going to have to do this first. I want to get that over there. Yeah, it's, that's, I do yeah. that. I am constantly doing that. Ghosty says, at least as he doesn't run his fingers under the work. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm actually not a bad reader, and I know Dawn saying that makes it sound like I am. But yeah, no, a he's, very good reader. he's just, he's enthralled in what he's doing, is what it is. Um, get the rest of you cretins around me. That's I really it is. He, he, he goes into his own little world. And then, like I said, I, I truly believe, like, half the time, I don't think he realized... I don't think he realizes he's reading a little bit out loud when he's doing it. Oh, lost my plate. Uh, Ghosty says, I do the same thing, Ty, when I get into a book. I, I s- slowly start to whisper it. Yeah. I try not to, but it just happens when I forget that I'm... Uh, Gare says, I mumble a lot when I paint, so streaming wasn't a big jump for me to just talk to people when... Right? When in that, painting, yeah. That was je- definitely a thing for me of... <laughs> That's I, a good transition tool. I was actually really, really worried about streaming. Um, mainly because I am... Counting where I'm going, hold on. Soda says, I cannot read fast. Well, I suppose I can, but I cannot read fast accurately. <laughs> um... So for me, I struggle severely with um, talking in front of a crowd. Um, public speaking is not a strong suit. I, anybody who who can, I'm just like my I'm boggled. My mind is boggled. I don't understand. Um, so when we were talking about doing this, there was rightfully a little bit of concern of is this going to work or not. Uh, but I realized very quickly when I'm painting, I, I do, I jabber to myself, I'm like, you know what? This color looks really good. Eh, I'm kind of digging this. I'm kind of liking this. The same sort of rambling that I do with you guys here, I just do it without. And I can't see all of you guys. So it's easier. It's really easy. The same sort of thing when I was in college. I would intentionally sit in the very front of the room because if I didn't, I could see the other students and I would not ask a single question. I would not speak in class at all. But if I sat in the very front, it was just me talking directly to the teacher. So that helped. So one of my weird things is that, uh, well, I guess I have, I have two different kinds of things we call outbursts. One is, is uh, everybody knows about it because I'll just make a stupid sound or whatever and run down the hall. I don't know. I just do weird stuff if I get bored. Uh, and, and it's infectious. And, and yeah, because everybody around here is having their own outbursts. But the other one I have is, is very internal. And that's, um, I don't know if it's part of the visual brain thing or, or what, but when, when somebody says something, my mind will run off and like make a little skit out of it. <laughs> Starts so, giggling. So yeah, and I'll just start laughing at myself and sound insane. Yeah. Uh, Sawdust said I cannot read fast. Well, I I suppose I can, but I cannot read fast accurately. And my my mind ran off to, I don't really feel like reading this. Like you're in class or something, and you have to read a you know the next couple of paragraphs or page or whatever. So you're like, I don't feel like doing this. I don't read very fast. I'm just gonna say a bunch of stuff and pretend like I'm reading. <laughs> Yeah, nothing to do with the book, but hey, class, though, I'm going to say this really fast and nobody can really stop me anyway, but here's a story that I'm going to pretend to tell. Hmm. Which also, then my mind jumps to when I was in high school and, and I get bored easily. And uh, reading in, like, biology or something like that, and I'd read the whole thing like I was a commentator. Everybody loved, the, like, the, the teacher was okay with it, too. The commentator, I'd do the documentary style, like, Zygote is I don't even remember, but I'd read everything like really silly like that and got away with it. Everybody's laughing. Teacher was laughing too. So, uh, Gary says I was in theater in high school and I can't tell you. And I can, I can't even tell you, uh, have any hangups with streaming. That helps. I'm sure. Uh, let's go. Let's go says I was looking at Elegoo Mars three in Saturn S. 
I've had issues with the printer since I've bought it. So I just wanted to try a different brand. Okay. Gotcha. I, I just wanted to make sure you weren't over complicated or, you know, overspending basically. So, um, what do you say? The Mars, the, the regular uh, Mars, Mars three and the Saturn S. Okay. So the Saturn S I have the Saturns. Um, I don't have the Saturn S, so I, I can't tell you the, the difference. I know the difference for me, it, Saturn's a little bit cheaper. Um, I don't remember any particular other things off the top of my head that might be different about them. The But we love them. I mean, almost our whole entire print farm, Saturn's. Yeah, we have one Mars Pro, and that's it. Um, I would, before you pick the, the Mars 3, I would double-check about how long ago that one came out because i can't remember off the top of my head again apologize but they uh <coughs> excuse me um i started off with the mars and after after after, after. <laughs> um that's a new god after yeah after a while it raise you after it started to die on me and and i say after a while i mean i put that thing through its paces so I, i'm not terribly concerned about the fact that it started to die on me either so the s is 9.1 inches versus 8.9 of the regular one so okay she goes um so the problem i have now is i have the mars that it's the motherboard died on it and they don't make the motherboard anymore. So I, I can't, it's just a dead machine. Uh, but I, I worked the ever living hell out of it. So it, it, it were, you know, it, it was worth the money I paid for it. My next question would be, what are you tending to print? Pussy says, See, no matter the figure I have or creature I'm painting, I create an entire backstories and situations for them, and I usually mumble the story to myself while I work, as I like revising the story in my head. Yeah, I can totally relate to that. Uh, Gareth says, "It's it is outdoor thespian of Eternia." Yes, yes. Um. Oh, and and to Gareth's comment, I. I thought I was going to have issues with streaming and I just, I don't, I feel really comfortable. Um, I think that's one, the environment that you guys are creating for me is super friendly and super helpful and super fun. And you guys have been a great audience for this act. No, I'm not going to do that again. Um, you guys have made a really great space for me to be in. So I don't have any issue. Now, that being said, when we go to a convention, I am happy and content and loving it and everything else until there is three or more people standing at the booth asking me a question about the game that we created. And I go, talk to Ty. That's the next words. Uh, ask Taylor. him. <laughs> <laughs> because three or more people and I, you know, four or more people, I start to freeze up and I'm like, I, I don't English. Go away. I don't know what to do anymore. I, I literally lock up. Uh, so here says, well, chill streams are the best. Yes. Uh, Lashigo says D and D minis, and I'm looking at making master dice for dice making. Okay. So really, well, I mean, I, and I kind of figured the answer was, was minis, but really what I'm, I'm kind of, for me, what the difference is between those machines is going to be, do you want to print Stegosaurus or do you want to print Raptor? Uh, Ghosty says, so in other words, what you're saying is that we're the real MVPs. Absolutely, 100%. Eris says, well, whenever I see you at a con, I'll ask all the awkward questions, gaming and other. Well, that's fine. Okay, it's just me and you. Well, or, or you're going to say, go ask Tyler, and I'm, oh, yeah. I'm fine with awkward questions. I, I'm even better with awkward answers, so there you go. I am absolutely fine, one-on-one. -on -one one on two that that that's okay i'm good but you put and it can be it, it can be like 
I've talked to you for an hour and then your friend comes over and I've talked to your friend for an hour and then a different friend comes over, talk to them for an hour. And now all three of you here together. <laughs> and I'm just, I'm, I'm, I freeze up. I just don't do well. Thank uh, you for the applause. Yes. Thank you very much. We are so amazing. Ghosty says, yo. Uh, and the she go going back to you again. I don't think they've said anything again yet. right? Uh, not okay. yet. Okay. So going back to you again, here's another thing to keep in mind. When you go from the, you know, the Mars three to the Saturn S your print area, your build plate is doubled, right? It's not actually doubled. It's a better than double. Measurement wise, it's double. But if you can imagine on a pro, I can fit these two side by side. Or, sorry, I have a pro, so I'm just I'm using my names. Um, on a pro, I can fit these two side by side. So you would think on a Saturn, I can fit these two side by side, but I can fit more than that because there's wiggle room around the edges because this one's just a little bit too long for the pro but it's i have a lot more room when i put it on the saturn so it, it it's more than than double because you your tetris space is actually yes increased <laughs> i i play tetris with my machine you know when i'm built when i'm filling up my build plate um uh, because there's no oh, i keep forgetting these are the back legs there's no reason not to fill the damn thing up other than potentially running out of resin which don't do i've done it do it anymore sucky and gara says she's just letting you know she's a real pro <laughs> um Sada says i have a very odd afraid of speaking in public number limit in front of one to ten ish no problem from 10 to 500 terrified over that i'm good to go again now i i freeze up at around three or four shigo says I think I'd like to print the bigger once I get more comfortable with printing. So I was, when I first started printing, um, I think I'm done with the back legs for at least now. I'm just going to kind of push them in and gonna assemble so things kind of get out of my way. Going for a ride! Whee! Those colors are looking good together. Look good. So happy. Anyway, um, I personally, I'm going to tell you, buy the bigger one. But I also don't know your budget and that sort of thing. Um, I do know that as the Jupiter gets closer and closer to release, the Saturn's prices are going down and down and down. So that is something to be on the lookout for. Um, yeah, but once it's released, it'll drop. 50 to a hundred dollars right uh, then yeah because it's already the the regular saturn has already dropped another 50 bucks it's down to 450 um wow but it's it's one of those things that the bigger one you're going to be able to print more at one time without having to switch everything over you're also going to have the ability to um the larger pieces add one piece, which means less assembly or no assembly. Uh, especially for like models that I'm printing for myself, I literally put them on the build plate and just hit scale to you know fit the plate. Let's just go as big as I can as in one piece. Done. And then I remember to hollow it out so I don't run out of resin again. Sucked. Fourteen hour print. Wasted. Oh, it was horrible. Yeah, that would. I, I'm sorry. I'm just like imagining your my vet, my vat leaking. I would be so pissed because it is a pain in the ass to clean that up. Typically, that only happens to me whenever I damage my uh, FEP paper. Which used to happen a lot. Oh, that's what I was, was going to say about printing the big minis. 
Um, I, I avoided that for a really long time. I was extremely intim intimidated by it. And I finally was like, you know what? I want Cthulhu. And there's no other way for me to go about doing this other than printing this big, yeah, giant, yeah. massive thing. Your entire outlook on it changed after you. After I did that one, I was like, you know what? That wasn't so bad at all. It, it took away a lot of the fear I had. Thought says if they ever make an upgrade to the Jupiter, where where can they go with the names from there? Battle Goose, Beetlejuice, oops, <laughs> Beetlejuice. Uh, the biggest build area in the galaxy. <laughs> I would like it to be called. That's not a, a moon. Get thought. Oh yeah, it's, you're gonna have it called the. Uh, Star Destroyer. No, uh, just literally, that's the name. It, that's not a moon. That's not a moon. <laughs> that's not a moon. Uh, just rip off the band aid, then, Gareth said. Yeah. Oh, as far as printing big, big yeah. Yeah. Um, well, now everything, I mean, we sell so much now that is just huge. Yeah. For, for resin, is huge. Elegoo Sun 10K printer 24 inch. The Sun for the next name. Yeah. Well, uh, I know how much they are, but I am going to start at least investigating in the, uh, as an inkjet. Yeah, that sounds crazy amazing. I watched a little bit of it on you. It's pretty wild looking. I mean, like like inkjet printing it's going through and it's spraying and then it's curing with a light and then it's spraying and it's curing with a light um uh, this says Gapthar's hammer <laughs> Sorry. oh now that whole movie's gonna play in my head uh and ghosty says guys i'm a ninja my brachiosaurus just tipped over while i was grabbing something and i like leapt across the room and caught it before it hit the ground and it took no damage oh that's awesome thank god by the sons of Werven, you shall be avenged gareth says <laughs> uh, no surrender <laughs> sorry Hugo says sun is fitting i lost my place sun is fitting since it takes UV rays to cure, yeah, yeah, that's fit. Um, <laughs> it's crazy because like I I rewatched Galaxy Quest, uh, probably a couple months ago, and was like freaking out because Dwight was in it. I had no idea who Dwight was the first time I saw it from the office. Yeah, didn't start watching The Office till it had been on for a few years, too. So yeah. I'm sure the last time I watched Galaxy Quest, I probably still didn't know. Because it's been a long time since I've He's one of the aliens. Yeah, I figured when you said that that, that he would. Earth agreed. I now, of course, I've got you know the office playing through my head, and that scene where um, Andy was gone, or was it? Yeah, Andy was gone for some reason. I think it was the man the management courses that he was taking, and uh, like when he got back, Dwight had a bunch of his stuff, and then. Andy was trying to pretend to be Dwight at the end of it and had all the beats and this thing. And he's like, takes, tries to take a bite. He's like, you, oh, you're supposed to eat those raw, are you? And Dwight grabs one amateur and just bites into it. I'm like, oh, yeah. oh that's so gross. Oh, oh I'm going to knock Ghost, you. Ghosty says, I feel like I need to take a breath after that one. I feel like I almost lost a child. Yeah, I mean, well, you've already put a ton of work into getting that thing assembled. Gareth says, you are our last hope. <laughs> I love that the, movie tonight now. I love the Asian gym prank. Remember that one? Oh, that was awesome. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Had oh, the, he, uh, was it his, their dentist or a friend of theirs sitting in? Yeah, Pam even oh, came over and a, kissed yeah. him on the cheek. And 
Jim had a dentist appointment and they had a friend sitting in his spot. They even had redone one of their family photos with him in it. Uh-huh. That was awesome. He's not going to get me. Oh. Oh. A good try. It was a good try. I'm sorry. I just happened to look over. So. Okay, that one got me. I fixed it. There you go. And on that note, I'll just remind everybody once again, I'm not doing it as much now because we're a little far out, but Jake and I are working on uh, this next season of Gamers in the Unknown. We've made changes. We're making improvements. We're going to work a little harder on our pre-prep, which is what we're doing now. So uh, we are targeting, it was the beginning of June, June. Is, is what we're intending to be back on. The first episode is going to be Gargoyles. I'm going to take that. I think that one's for me. Yes, yes. Thank you. Um, just the look of horror on Dwight's face made it worth it. Yeah, Gareth. Gareth. That Asian prank one. Asian gem uh, prank. So freaking awful. Um... Lotus says, I have not seen The Office. Mayhap, I need to give it a go. I think Peacock streaming, the last I checked, was showing episodes. I think that's where I saw it. I don't remember for sure. It is not on Netflix anymore. No. Oh, shit. That one got me. That was a baby one, but it got me. I, think I felt it, but I don't think I reacted. Re I didn't react as big as I did. Starting to feel like we're in a fishbowl. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I hope you can. But pretty birdie, pretty birdies. Also, I love me some Parks and Rec. Yeah, me too. You know, it's funny because I would go, I would watch all of The Office, and then I would go and I would I'm like, okay, I finished The Office, I'm gonna watch Parks. <laughs> it's like every single time I would watch one and then watch the other, because I have a lot of a lot of things that I do that are consistent with, you know, me constantly using my hands like this. Um, uh, especially like when I was making masks, I, I mean, I was just constantly cutting, sewing, cutting, sewing, cutting, sewing. So my hands were always busy. Um, and then my embroidery machine would be going, which is loud and that hurts my ears. So I would put on my headphones and I would watch or listen to something that I had, seen a gazillion times so it's like playing in my head but i can listen to it you know um so i can listen to something while i'm working and i have a few that are my go-to's and the office and uh parks and recs those were definitely on my go-to lists one uh what i'm watching right now is uh forged in fire started way back all the way back at season one again and the funny thing is, is I was like, okay, there's no way I'll be able to watch something like this or listen to something like this. I'm going to have to watch it. And sure enough, I I'm, was wrong. I can actually just listen to it because I, I have watched them enough times that I'm remembering the episodes as they, as they play. Hello, my love. No, not now. I'm in the middle of a stream, know, sweetheart. I just I okay. We celebrated Dawn's birthday. But it's Dawn's birthday yesterday, everybody. Ty's birthday is December 31st. Everyone will forget by the time it rolls around again. Fell <laughs> in it. You fell in it. All oh, that. Oh, well, happy birthday to your oldest. How old did they turn? Did you eat yet, baby? I mean, I have, but not. Okay, go eat something good. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Got us. Thank you for the 50 bits. Hearts this time. It is going to overflow. It is. Big time. 
wow, he is like really good. Oh, no, lost one. Oh, there we go. There we go. Hang on top. Look at that. Thank you, guys. Thank you for all the happy birthdays. Eight. Garrus is eight. Well, happy eighth. Aww. Oldest. The yeah. little one. I wasn't even paying attention if I'm on camera here. Oh, is it a bomb? 48. That is a... Oh! <laughs> that that uh, was so sad. <laughs> the Shigos was the 15th. Oh, happy, happy belated birthday. birthday. That's of April birthday. We, yes. That's where our, most of ours are, is April and... Thank you. Oh, I thank you, Bubby. It's a different <laughs> flavor. I thought it was going to go plunging through, and it was only I one, I did, too. Right? Yeah. Um, so... Holly Tempest says he's 600 years old now. You're the master I've been hearing so much about. <laughs> um, fun fact. I tend to pout on my birthday because I share my birthday with my mom. And she lives in Louisiana, so I couldn't see her. So I pout because I want to spend my birthday with my mom. Um, but it's okay. I had a basically good day. I kind of screwed myself and left taxes till the last possible day. So I spent part of my day yesterday doing our taxes and having the entire day with Ty waiting on me hand and foot. But Thursday we're going to go out to eat. Yes. So the birthday continues. And we're going to go have steak. And we have cake for tonight, too. Pretty sure that's what my dinner is tonight is cake. Dax says she saw that. Hi, Dax. Uh, that she saw your post on Facebook with the picture of the turtle. He was so tired that she, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> she thought you were making turtle soup. No, 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 no. I do not make turtle soup. Okay, baby? Hey, yeah, a little. <laughs> I pout on my birthday, too, when I've had to drink. That's not true. I'm a pretty happy drunk. <laughs> he's he's one of those goofy people drunks. There's block or I don't know. On the counter is where they should be. Or in the knife block is where they're supposed to go. I don't know where they are, sweetheart. Some things never change. Where is this? You're holding it. Where is this? You're standing right next to it. Where is this? It's yours. Why are you asking me? <laughs> you want me to start to close up the fishbowl, Dawn? Um, it's not bothering me, sweetheart. If it's bothering you, that's fine. It's kind of... I mean, I like looking out, but again, I feel like I'm in a fishbowl. I feel like chat's going crazy. Um... It just, no, it's, uh, just, okay. It's like, I don't know. Out of the corner of my eye, I like, see a bunch of shit moving or something. Sutta yeah. says, wow, I'm having major audio problems. I've refreshed the page and it still persists. Well, what the heck? Let's see. I was just coming through doors for a second. Oh, mine looks okay. Is anybody else having audio issues? I'll close the shades while everyone else is answering that. Okay. Can I get a time check? Oh, sure. I've not been looking at this. It's almost eight. Okay. Over you know by Georgie works really well, sweetheart. Okay. So all this says it's all good now. I, I hate was the... almost hoping there'd be a lightning or something while we were. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. But it's so cool that yeah, I don't think it's gonna happen. It's too yeah. chilly for that. It would have been. Maybe we just wait for a nice lightning storm and then we'll just start streaming. <laughs> Quick, everybody, join us! There's a thunderstorm. We're gonna be on for as long as we're on and listen to the thunder. I don't know. While you paint, and while I watch the lightning. 
Although I have to say, like, I love watching storms, but ever since we started 3D printing, uh, storms give me heart palpitations. Oh, that reminds me. We we have to figure out UPS. Cause there's been a couple of, well, uh, the one time, I mean, even with, uh, even with UPS, we would have lost it because it was out for hours. That, and that hasn't happened in years, but it happened. Yeah, uh, this winter. Um, but then there's been twice at least now that it was just quick little brown brownouts that were real fast. Yeah, and we lost prints, not on the filament printers, but on the yeah the resin printers that I have don't have a resume print. They just it's done. It's crazy to me. It seems like it would be easier just looking at it from a soft from the point of view of a software developer. It seems like it would be much easier. To just start off where you left off on those, yeah. And something that's mechanically moving around and has all these different positions. And I mean, there is you. You can figure out what layer you stopped on. Yeah, that's not. And those. then, yeah, no. Basically, that. But that's legitimately how you do it. You figure out what layer you stopped on. Then you go and you redo your entire build plate, starting at that layer. Yeah. Well, I can tell you that. Again, from the point of view of software development, every time I start a new layer, I would save where that layer is off on a, a text file, if nothing else, so that I could yeah. start from that. It'd be a cinch. The filament printers have to figure out X, Y, and Z coordinates, and they're able to do it. Anyway. Bitching. I am too, yeah. It, it was a heart wrench. Heart wrenching when that happened. Um, I have been missing some stuff. Uh, Good. I'll find. It sounded like leaning on the mic. Oh, yikes! Um, Kara says it's always been good for me. Get good sawdust. <laughs> oh, I done got good or Gary <laughs> sawdust. Uh, Kara says glad to hear that got that good got gitted. <laughs> Oh Those shit! Really challenging me on this one. Hello again, Regina. Hi, Regina. Welcome back. Um, so this says Dags just got home. Got to go get dinner ready later, y'all. I will see you later. Bye. Later, actor. <laughs> um. Hope your meeting went really well. Because that means that everything's going really well for Archon, which I'm very hopeful for. I, I, I've got a, I've got a trim. My beard keeps oh, like an axe. Axe. Oh, uh, Regina says, I told the dealer's room peeps you want in for next year and that they should poke you. I'm so bad. But Jill really is, like, super easy to work with. And yes. she's super chill and super sweet and everything else, so. Jill, if you're watching, we will bill you for that plug. I am loving this blue, teal, and green. Green, blue. Yeah. It's a conspiracy, damn it! Regina says, planning is going great. We are... Sitting nice for this year. Dealer's room is half full already. Okay. I'm going to do my paperwork tonight. Yeah, because you want to do the same thing that you yeah. did last year. Yeah, I want to make sure we get the same. We won't necessarily get the same spot, but I want an end cap again. Gareth says, you're welcome, Dawn, and you're welcome too, Ty. I'm lost. What? 
Or you're welcome. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm. I'm sure it's something I said or something. Oh yeah, something because like he was. Too. You were struggling to or read. The color. Oh. Oh yes, the color. Yes, that too. But also, I was actually thank you for making him read that because that was fucking hilarious. Spirit. Cut. Is a prejudice against colorblind people. Uh, <laughs> Ghosty says, gap filling is done on the Brachiosaurus, and now I'm seriously contemplating it's even worth to start gap filling in my parry. What? I, I probably reading it wrong. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Um, I can't say that word. It's the, one, one of the dinosaurs, dinosaurs that he just got. I can't say the dinosaur's name. I wouldn't even get remotely close to it. But it, it's P-A-R something. So, um, yeah, oh. I would. If you're gap filling, gap fill. Because I can't believe you blasted through that. That's crazy. Yeah, that's a big creature. So, I would absolutely suggest going ahead and starting that. Yeah, Regina says, I bet that took forever. But I would say not too bad. You started uh, after after we finished the drop tests, I think. Uh, and Ty did done got good at the good of getting got it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Damn straight, I did. Thank you for making him read that again. <laughs> Those are fun. It makes me slow down, doesn't it? It just sound like I'm slowing down so I don't miss the words. <laughs> Done, got good at the good or getting got it. <laughs> oh, itchy nose, itchy nose. Anyway. Yeah, I'm looking forward to hitting the cons again this year. With basically back to normal should be almost like completely back to normal now we'll see yeah we'll see oh uh, it says i do have an archon related idea plan that i want to run past you at some point actually a couple of ideas uh ghosty says it took days regina definitely an exhausting process tonight i was just filling in legs oh I see. Uh, Gareth asks, "What's the?" I if I can't see it, that's you. Yeah. I absolutely I I can't say it. Even when I'm looking at it, I can't say it. Um, I I don't know if you guys know, but I am actually dyslexic, and that is part of the issues that I have. Is I can't sound out a word it it doesn't work for me uh, yes from dinotopia 2 huh? e a r a parasaurolophus i don't know i'm looking at like parasaurolophus you bring it over i'll tell you so this guy he got one of those but he also oh i got this oh well i can't see what you're pointing oh sorry this is the one that he's talking about uh -huh. but he also did get one of those too the the dilla dilophosaurus dilophosaurus pacacephalorosaurus that that's what Bali Tippa said. Wow. Cephalosaurus. Oh, I have, I have to slow down on that one. My brain stops working. Uh, it's Erosaurolophus. Ghosty said. Eris says Pachycephalosaurus. Man, when I got to do Losaurus, I get stuck right there. Dinotopia two. <laughs> I did it. Um. Uh, uh, so, 
sorry, Pachycephalosaurus. That's actually, how is that easier to say like that? Pachycephalosaurus. I don't know why that was easier with the, the E in front of the ah. Uh, I, used to, I used to be a huge dinosaur nerd, so I know a lot of their names, Ghosty says. I, uh, our son is, and probably always will be, a huge, huge fan of, of dinos, um, and so I actually know a lot about them because of him, but also because they're freaking awesome. I still remember whenever he was, and luckily he doesn't watch the stream, so he won't know I did this, um, I'm going to tell a story about him. We... Back when we lived in Herman, when we were getting the kids signed up for preschool, they would test the kids. So they would basically sit the kid down and, and talk with the kid and, and ask them questions. And it was, you know, standardized testing for, for preschoolers, right? And... They had, they basically, you know, one of the biggest tests they did was they would give you a picture book and then they would ask you, what is this? And you would tell them so they could see if you could identify things. If you, you know, knew how to say your name, knew how to do this, do that sort of thing. Right. And, um, looks cool. Um, so they. The, the, the lady got out her, her picture book and she's holding on to it and um, she's pointing to things in the book and asking Nick, what is this? What is this? And it gets to a section of dinosaurs. And he, <laughs> he didn't speak super, super awesome. You know, he couldn't say Brachiosaurus. He could, you know, but it was. Oops. Clear to me what he was saying. But anyway, so she shows him a picture and she says, what is this? And he says, it's, you know, a brontosaurus is what he was answering. But she couldn't understand him. And he, she says, no, no, no. What is this right here? And she points to it again. He says it again. And he, she's like, no, no, no. Right here, honey. And she's like putting it closer to his face. What is this? And he says, you know, brontosaurus. And she looks at me and he's, she's like, I'm sorry, he doesn't know what that is. Because most kids at this age know what this is. I'm like, he's telling you what it is. He said brontosaurus. And she's like, what? And she goes, is that what he said? I'm like, yes. I mean, it's clear to me, but okay, fine. I mean, he was, you know, three and a half. <laughs> and uh, so then she was like, oh, well, and then she opens up the book and she kind of flicks to a different spot. And she's like, well, well what is this? And. She looks at, you know, he, he says whatever name of that dinosaur was. I think it was a pterosaur. You know, he just, he's like just going through all these names. And um, she gets to a certain point and he's like, she's like, what is this? What is this? What is this? She just keeps going. And she's like, you know, most kids, she was, I was expecting him to say dinosaur, dinosaur. <laughs> but he didn't say that. So I didn't know what he was saying. And then she gets to a point. She asks, you know, well, what is this? And he says, and she looks at me and I'm, I say what he said. And she goes. Is that right? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. He knows more than I do. Uh, so, yeah, we, we've always had dinosaurs he's, around. He spent a long time, even as an older kid, thinking it's going to be a million dollars. Yeah. So. Oh, sorry. Uh, Kara says, me too. I wanted to be a paleontologist when I was a kid. Uh, Bali Tempest says, damn it, fingers, aerosolophus. Uh, Bali Tempest, I just think people like hearing me attempt this now. <laughs> Ghosty says, Bali Tempest, you definitely did it better than me. Regina, have you printed a Tarnia of White Werewolf Tavern yet? Yes. Oh, my God. She looks amazing. I love her so much. She. I haven't gotten to print her or paint her yet, but she... Freaking looks off. This somebody ordered. I was so excited because they ordered the 25 mil of her, the 75 mil of her, and the bust. I'm like, 
dude, you're doing it right. Oh, yeah, we were talking about that. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was so awesome. So, yeah, I've gotten, I printed her out in the small one a couple of different times. Um, the bust of that one turns out beautifully. Her, the top of her head is one piece, and then the rest of her, and then the stand. So you can get all the details, because her horns kind of are pretty big and, and goofy. Uh, Bali says, I just, I just type too fast and I have to sound it out as I'm typing it so mistakes were made. <laughs> <laughs> um, Gareth says, I actually made my second grade teacher mad at me for correcting her pronunciation of dinosaur names. That's what he's, he, that's how he is with it. Uh, he says, that looks awesome. I think that's when you were holding it up earlier, holding yeah, the camera yeah. up earlier to show a larger view of it. Bali Tippa says, me loving dinos and knowing Greek and Latin for medical terms. That's how I can pronounce them. Also, my Xbox was a boss was a, a paleontologist and will be very disappointed in me if I don't nail it. I'm sorry, but his Xbox as a paleontologist is way better. <laughs> uh, and then in response to, I actually made my second grade teacher mad at me. Bali Tippa says, she must learn. Yeah. Agreed. Uh, Gareth says, hell yeah, she must. <laughs> uh, Ghosty says, my my brother, when he was a kid, would always go to my mom and go, I know how to spell Brachiosaurus. And then he'd turn his toy dinosaur over and read the bottom and go, made in China. <laughs> <laughs> That's Howdy. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry that that got me. We got me. That's a good one. Ooh, and I'm caught up now. Made <laughs> <laughs> <Ain't> in China. Coffee <laughs> segment. Really doesn't want to be in here. No, he does not. Who you start? Oh, you're okay. Yep, okay, okay. He's done. He's done. Yeah, I got it. Ooh, that made me cry. That was funny. I forgot what I was going to do. You were going to make coffee for yourself, but you did that before stream, so you're good. That's okay. Ooh. Yeah, I'm still kind of chuckling inside about that one. Oh, boy. Anyway. Yeah, I remember that day with Nicholas when you came home that he was getting upset. Yeah, I mean. Because the way you, you were telling telling the story, you weren't. I didn't know how it was going to end, but you're just like, I thought you were in another room or something and that they brought you in to say, oh, he's that's getting upset. Know. Yes. But we don't understand what he's talking about here. And yes, we're showing that's, the picture. That's right. I mean, how it's because been he 21 my, years. He's got my patience. So he's like, well, why are you not getting this? Yeah. How many he times was, do I have to say this? Brontosaurus, damn it. <laughs> he was telling her what the names of the dinosaurs was, and she was just wanting dinosaur. She didn't expect him to know the names, and he was getting upset, so they brought me back there. I'm like, what? That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ghosty says, still find it funny he never noticed that every dinosaur's name was spelled made in China. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he still spends money. Now he's an adult, and he spends money on dinosaurs, except when he was a kid, he always wanted the little toy dinosaurs, and now... I think he looks over the toys because some of the toys are model quality or something like that, but then he'll buy things from that's what they do is they try yeah. to do a good representation. Yeah, he just got a a collection of dinosaur models. Which apparently makes quite the conversation whenever he has room collection stuff like that that It does. His superiors are like, What what the hell is this? You got dinosaurs all over the place. <laughs> he was he was telling me how one of uh one of his room inspections ended very quickly 
because the basically he started doing the inspection and then he got distracted by all the dinosaur stuff and stopped doing the inspection and just gave him a passing grade so they can <laughs> just talk about the dinosaur stuff. Because he, he even has a uh, life-size skull of a saber tooth, I yeah. believe. Yeah, he likes the stink mammals too, like that. Uh, saber tooth. I think he complains it's off by a half inch or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> else a raptor i don't know another one of those expensive uh recreation kind of yeah. thing of actual finds kind of half wet blending half dry brushing half smearing on this stuff because i don't exactly know how i want the tail to look uh, Regina asks, have you ever printed the Queen of Chaos yeah. from Mini Monster Mayhem? I think I know which one that is, but you're gonna have to pull it up for me. Because I believe it's the female, or the, the human version of Tiamat is what it is. Oh. And if, if that, that is, is the case, then yes, and I love that model too. She was a blast to paint. I really like her base. It's so detailed. I think that... Oh, I love those Walking with Dinosaur shows. It's this. Yeah, yes. So that's the. Event. Yeah, it's Maybe basically more. what when he designed it, it was. It was his idea of what Tiamat would look like as a as a human. Yeah, uh, to what you're referring to, Ghosty said, I grew up watching those Walking with Dinosaurs and Walking with Beasts, and so I've always kept up with the modern dinosaur news and depictions and it's so cool dinosaurs will always be amazing i agree it was one of my things kid i want alien being an archaeologist i grew up wanting to be an egyptologist or an oceanographer i've still got that that uh, desire i guess because I haven't watched Time Team was a show that went from or I think until 2015 uh team of archaeologists spending three days on a site and just seeing how much that they can and sometimes getting sites scheduled with uh with the government so that it could be protected and stuff like that so or getting teams head starts on the on a dig stuff like that yeah it was a lot of fun watching it still watch it still watch it even though i've seen every episode that i haven't that amazon has to offer several times still love watching have you started moon night yet i have not thought about it Last night when I was struggling to, but I uh, have not. There's there's quite a few things that I restrict. I will not watch this until I can stop and watch. One of those that I'm actually like I need to start this like really soon, or I'm just going to start one it on Netflix. You. Outer Range on Netflix looks really fun. That looks really. really I think funny. you put it well the other day. It's it's what's going to uh, tide me over until this summer when we can watch. Nope. Nope looks really good too. Uh, Garrus says, I've enjoyed it so far. I'm assuming you mean Moon, Moon Knight. Knight. Yeah, because spawning too. Oh, yes. I, I skip things. My thing. 
My theme is Skip Day. Yes. What time is it? Uh, we've got about five minutes. Sorry, okay. I haven't been paying attention. Uh, Regina says it has been really good. Yeah. Just stoked for Kenobi. Yes, and I don't remember. That's coming up soon, right? I don't remember exactly when. I was thinking next month, but then it could be July. For my... uh, Ghosty says, oh, May 28th. Um, I started watching Outer Range, and it's really interesting. I've also really enjoyed Moon. Yeah, Outer Range is definitely looks like that kind of thing. Very up my alley. Yes. Um, so tomorrow night, guys, we will continue with the Dragon Turtle. We will be talking about world building in the town of, I've forgotten the name. Elvin. Elman. Elvin. Elvin. That makes sense. Um, yeah, we're going to talk about careers. Careers in the village of Calvin, which is riding on the back of, on the top of that bottom of the shell. And, you know, as we paint, they kind of tow it around as it floats. So they they get to travel. Uh, and then from there, we'll move out to the kinds of jobs that people may take in the cities surrounding the plateau. Yeah, I'm going to have to fix that area. Do not like that. It worked way better on the the other areas that I was messing with. Regina says, I'm looking forward to the finished dragon turtle. Yes. It's kind of looking amazing. So You have a nice ombre effect going. That's wet blending for you. It'll do it for you. I love it. There we go. There's that. And then his head has these, the, the hard things like this, so I put it the same color as that. Looking fantastic. That is, so far, yes, let me adjust here, guys. I think I'm at a stopping point, so I'm going to stop. Otherwise, you know how I am. It's like, okay, I'm at a stopping point, and we're almost there. I've got a few more minutes. I'll do something else. And then an hour later, I'm like, oh, we should probably stop streaming. <laughs> <laughs> So, tomorrow night we will be back at 7.30. We will continue with Cutie Pie. Nom, nom, nom. Thank um, you, sweetheart. And we will keep... <laughs> we will keep up Beard Man Camp, too. Um, but oh, because we're world building. So, we've got base work to do. I'm pretty happy with the underside of his shell. I don't know that I will touch anything more on this underside of his shell. Thank you, Creep Show. See you later, man. Bye, Creep Show. Thanks. Um, but realistically speaking, I think I can actually maybe finish this tomorrow. Guys, I think I can do it. Yeah, because you weren't sure. I wasn't sure. <laughs> but all those little dots, I mean, really, that's all we got, did today was we did we painted dots. Thank you for joining me for painting dots. Yay. All right. But we got lots and lots and lots. I believe in you, Scarif. I know, I know. Um, I mean, realistically, I'm going to keep saying realistically, apparently. So there's a bunch of rocks down there, like rock, rock. Those are all really quick for me. They always are. Um, and then we've got barnacles. I love how the barnacles turned out on this. Can you zoom in right there, Ty? I love my little my little treasure chest right there. It's awesome. I love it. Wow, this is like a pain in the butt to do. Yeah, but you keep asking. I do, and I apologize. <laughs> I, I feel bad for even asking. I don't believe. I love that chest. It turned out so cute. I'm so happy with it. We got our sand done, so we've got lots of little details to do in there. And all now. Um... It's Lots realistically very quick, realistically speaking, Kara said. Realistically, yeah. <laughs> but 
we're going to go and we will see you tomorrow for world building at 7 